Funimation Industry Panel. My name is Scott Lonsky. I'm the director of events at the office. I've been there for about eight years and um, kind of manage over conventions and events that happen throughout the year um, at shows like this. So um, you have to forgive me. I'm fighting a cold and I've been kind of dealing with some head stuff. So I'm going to try to speak as loud as I can. I've, my voice has been going in and out for the last week or so. So I will try to be loud. All right, so let's get this thing started. First off, uh, how many of you uh, have been to the Funimation website? How many of you go to the Funimation website for news, information, shopping, all the things we do? Is that your first stop, your first go-to? OK, cool. All right, so um, we are everywhere. As you know, all the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you want to find us, we are there. Um, so we're going to talk in this panel. I'm going to give you some upcoming uh, releases, some of our past releases that have just come out uh, beginning of the year up until now. I'll show you some clips and trailers, and I'll talk about some new stuff, uh, simulcasts and some other stuff that's happening, as well as some exclusives and um, some new news. So as I mentioned earlier, Funimation.com is kind of the one-stop shop. Uh, blog information, which is the most current information spot to find anything that we announce, anything that's happening, any updates, whatnot. Um, you can all find there. Next question, how many uh, Funimation Now subscribers do we have in the house? Good, okay, cool. What's wrong with the rest of you? <laughs> Get to it. So uh, here's a little incentive for you. We, uh, we've just announced a new um, tiered strategy for the platform. Um, our pricing uh, will be $7.99 a month. You can register up to April 10th at the $5.99 price and get grandfathered in to that new Premium Plus level. We also have a Premium Plus Ultra level, haha, <laughs> for uh, $99. That's a yearly price. And then we also have our free trial as well. So in each of those tiers, uh, everything comes with a different um, level, uh, kind of unlocks to the next tier. So you, you have access to ad-free uh, streaming. You've got subs and dubs. Simultaneous streams for friends and family, multiple, de uh, multiple devices, offline viewing as well. Um, and kind of a new feature that we're adding um, is exclusive access to member-only events that we'll be doing more of throughout the year, and as well as early access to Funimation sales. And as I mentioned earlier, on, on the site, in the shop, we have an awesome new sales manager there who's kind of running that shop, and he's got a ton of exclusives, and he's doing bundles and really cool and neat things that we've not done before that are uh, only available through Funimation.com shop. So that's something definitely to check out. And when you purchase through the shop orders, there's an option for free shipping as well on uh, orders over certain tier levels and access to member-only uh, member shop exclusives. So all of that stuff is on the blog on Funimation.com. It breaks it all out. Uh, again, the magic date is April 10th. So if you want to get in on that action, um, that's the date to circle on your calendar. All right, so speaking of Funimation now, um, we are available on multiple devices in Apple Store, Google Play, Windows Store, Amazon, as well as on other devices, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Roku, PlayStation 3 and 4. So we're, we're trying to get everywhere. It's, a, it's been a slow process to get these uh, platforms developed, but we are, trust me, we are trying. We've heard you. There are other devices that people have been asking for, and we hear you, and we are working on it. It's just not quite that easy. So, um, all right, so Funimation Now. So now how many of you, after hearing my pitch, are going to go ahead and subscribe? Give me some hands so I can go back and say I did my job. Even if you're not going to, you can get a free trial. It's fine. All right, awesome. All right, guys, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about winter season. How many of you in here are familiar with simuldubs? Does anyone know what this is? Has anyone heard of this? All right, cool. So the few of you that do, um, thank you for uh, supporting that. And those of you who don't, uh, I'm going to tell you about this now. So what we try to do is the one problem with getting anime to you once we license it from Japan is timing. So we've always had the, the issue of time. We can't get it fast enough. It's out in Japan. And then there's a licensing process, and then there's a dubbing process, and then there's a distribution process. So what we've done over the past couple of years is we've created what we call a simul dub, And we've been working with our partners in Japan to create these English dubbed anime episodes as fast as we can once they air in Japan on broadcast to get them over here. So we've been kind of pitching for that two-week window. We want to make it shorter. It'd be great to do day and day, you know. But, but we're, right now, that's kind of the window that we fall in is that two weeks. So, so uh, the winter simul dub season, uh, that we've launched has uh, 
I'm going to go through a couple, of, a bunch of shows that we've got out there, and uh, you can applaud if you are familiar, or if you're a fan, or whatnot. So, Sword Art Online, Ace Attorney, season two. Any objections? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to try to be. As, I'm on cold medicine. I'm sorry. I'm loopy. It's just I'm. I'm going to get through this. All right. Um, let's see. Radiant. A certain magical index, part three. Black Clover, season two. Fairy Tale, the final season tier. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. The Promised Neverland. The hits just keep on coming, guys. Modern Rose, Mononoke, two. The Rising Shield Hero. Magical Girl Spec Ops Osaka. No? Okay. Boogie Pop and Others. A fan favorite, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2. And the crowd goes wild. Uh, where are we? Let's see. Renishi Exodokjin. And my roommate is a cat. All right, so as you can see, we've got uh, quite a full season. It's, it's still going. And uh, again, for more updates, spring season will be coming. So just keep an eye on that blog. And uh, see what we got next. Oh, we're still going, sorry. Quintessential Quintuplets. And, oh, last one here. Star Blazers Spaceship Battleship Yamato 2202. All right, so. All right, on to the next. Uh, Funimation. <laughs> Sorry, this something's going on with this computer too, because this is not my laptop, so it was handed off to me at the office. So we had a little technical trouble, and these buttons are sticking, and the slides aren't right. So just bear with me one second. Okay, we can give a shout out for these last couple that we skipped. Then Data Live Three. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, all right, here we go, back into it. So back to Funimation everywhere. Um, we are all over the place, Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, Microsoft Movies, PlayStation Video, and more. So as we talked about in the shop, uh, we've got a lot of bundles going on right now, a lot of special sale offers. So we've also got our booth downstairs. A lot of that stuff that is down there is in the shop as well. Um, the limited edition collector's editions and the LE, uh, LE sets are, are online as well. And like I said, our new shop manager has been great with bundling those with cool t-shirts and Funko Pops and other exclusives that we have in the shop. So, all right. Um, how many of you uh, enjoy going to the movies? And uh, since you're all obviously anime fans in here, how many of you enjoy seeing anime on the big screen? All right, so this is not a new thing for Funimation. However, it has been a more consistent thing for Funimation in, in the most recent years. Uh, most recently, when we went back to theaters with our first big Dragon Ball movie, Battle of Gods. And since then, we've tried to keep those, uh, those big hits in the theaters for you. So uh, we've got a few movies coming out this year. First off is the latest in the Eureka 7 High Evolution series which will be coming out later this year. Stick, stay tuned to the blog for the theatrical dates, as well as the new Code Geass movie that'll be coming out later on this spring with uh, details to be announced very soon, hint, hint, so uh, keep an eye. And uh, recently announced the Fruits Baskets movie, which will be out in theaters in a special event. Uh, it'll be the first two episodes in theaters that'll air before the broadcast. So, no Chicago? Sad day. So, write your congressman. Um, well, so, okay, so here, here's, here's what you can do on that. I would say if you, uh, we, we've had this problem because it's various, again, it's theaters, it's distributors, it's whatnot. If you just put those tweets in, send them on over. We've, sometimes the theaters will listen, it's worked. We've done it with some of the smaller films that we've done and, and super limited release. So, you never know. Um, we'd love to be everywhere, like I said. It's just, it's not just one person making a decision going, we're gonna skip Chicago. <laughs> so, um, uh, ba so F F Fruits Basket movie, it will be in theaters, uh, dubbed on March 26th and subbed on March 27th. So um, 
if you are not in the Chicago area, you want to travel outside Chicago, check it out. All right, so let's get into some home video releases. So back in August, um, well, first of all, before that, uh, are, are any of you familiar with our save line, the lovely green spine? Okay, cool. So uh, back last August, we decided to kind of revamp those, uh, the second life and third lives of our shows, um, and we released a series called Essentials. So basically taking some of those concepts from the save line, we put all the episodes in a, in a thin case, we put a, a discount price on it, and then you can kind of get more anime for your buck. So this is a little promo video that was put together um, that kind of explains what, what that is. Wow, I can't wait. So those are our, uh, just kind of classic essentials line. I'm going to go through some of these just that are out there, just so your point of reference, so you know what's available. Um, Tokyo Ghoul, season one and season two. Uh, the essentials line, Divine Gate, Cheer Boys. Can we, again, you guys can scream for these if you're fans of these shows, by the way, if you want to just applaud. It makes kind of, I go back with notes a lot of times, and I'll be like, okay, that one was a good hit, that one was a rock, that one was a, because the brand managers want to know how their brands are performing and who's watching them, and, and when they don't get to get on the road, then it's kind of our job to let everybody know, yeah, that was a, that got a good crowd response, and that was cool. So, um, Myriad Colors, Phantom World, Space Patrol, Lulico, yay! That's one of my favorite shows, too. 91 Days, anyone? Don't Eat the Lasagna, Orange the Complete Series, another one. All right, so um, that is our, uh, some, just some of the highlights from the classics and essentials. So now let's get into some, some new releases that have come out um, since the year started. Um, any Dragon Ball fans in the house? <laughs> All right, so we are up to Super Part 6 on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, as you know, Chris and Sean are here. We have this available at the booth if you want to get something signed. Um, it's down there, and let's watch a clip from the show. Here we go! <laughs> All right! And who are you? We're Emerged Fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito! By the way, did anybody go to the crazy Dragon Ball panel yesterday? The game show? What did you think of that? Was it cool? Did you like it? Was it not cool? All right, just curious. I talked to Chris and Sean earlier today and they loved it, so we're gonna, we're gonna revamp it and I think we're gonna try it again. So um, that was, this is our first try. All right, uh, also, uh, any fairy tale fans in the house? Yeah. All right, so last year the uh, fairy tale Dragon Cry movie was released in theaters and uh, is now available on home video. And for those of you who have not seen that, here is the clip. One hundred years ago, a particular staff was discovered in the deepest depths of the dragon's tomb. This staff is known as the Dragon Cry. Who goes there? This shrine is under the control of the Kingdom of Fiore. Who among you woke up hungry for a fight this morning? <laughs> This scoundrel controls the destructive power of the Dragon Cry. I need you to take it before he can cause more mayhem. Happy? It's up to us to stop this thing. Oh, 
Well, no matter what, we cannot allow them to use the staff's magic power. All of the dragon's fury and hatred, it's about to rain down upon the city! I think we're too late! The time is upon us! I never lived to kill dragons. I've got a better reason than that. For my friends! To protect them! That's why I'm still alive! That's why I fight! And why I'm gonna stop you! Tale. The air is so nice and brisk out here. Watch your noses, cause I just tooted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and another uh, new release that came out a couple months back was ReZero, the collector's box, and part two. And uh, here's a clip from that. I finally figured out how to take care of everything. What do you mean by that? <laughs> When I'm with you, you always push yourself to do impossible things. It was for you, I swear! Tell me, why do you always rescue me? You were the one who saved me. You're my hero, Super. Let's start over, right here. I'll start from zero. My life in another world starts here. From zero. Are any of you watching that? Feel? Okay, cool. All right, so uh, any, uh, any Olympic fans in the house? Any skating fans in the house? <laughs> any fans of Yuri on Ice in the house? All right, so Yuri on Ice uh, came out last year. It was a huge hit for us and uh, is available down at the booth downstairs as well. And um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with for this show, here's a little taste. I've spent more than half my life watching Victor, trying to catch up. I'm going to do it. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to skate on the same ice as Victor again someday. Yuri, welcome home! Yeah, thanks, Mom. Koski tumbles to last place. Can Will this season be his last one? Possibly. Tired of feeling, never Maybe enough. it's time for you to retire. I don't think we need two Yuris in the same bracket. There'll be no more darkness when you believe in yourself. You are unstoppable. Where your destiny lies. They say he's taking the next season off to consider the future of his career. He was so inspired by your performance, he decided to become your coach. Huh? Victor, why are you here? You're going to get to the Grand Prix final, and you're going to win. Unleash the arrows within you. Maybe no one's seen it before, but I know it's there. Smoldering deep down inside you, waiting for its chance to come out. This was the beginning. With Victor, I hope to win the Grand Prix Final. Thank you all for your continued support. <laughs> Here, their battles will continue for years after this grand prix final. No tale is more compelling than one that never ends. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> All right, so a uh, show we talked about a little bit earlier, um, coming back for season two on simulcast. Uh, I don't think there'll be any objections to playing a clip from Ace Attorney, right? No, sorry. Again, the cold medicine is just it's great. I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. I just earned my badge a few months ago, so I'm still a rookie. <laughs> in fact, I'm beginning arguments in my first real trial today. Without further ado, I shall now deliver the verdict. Guilty! 
Miles Edgeworth. Made prosecutor at 20, which was unheard of. And he's never lost a case. He's like a guilty verdict machine. One that'll do absolutely anything for a win. Don't forget, to argue a solid defense, you have to believe in him and his innocence. Right. Compare what he said to the evidence. There's bound to be a contradiction somewhere. After years of dreams and hard work, I've made it. This is why I became a lawyer in the first place. This court is hereby in session. I've got plenty of surprises for you, Miles. You're gonna learn this is where Phoenix Wright belongs. Now! Objection! attorney action for you. So, um, do you guys like evil characters? Yeah. Villains? Really terrible, awful, evil people? What about evil girls? <laughs> Has anybody seen this show? This girl is the epitome of evil. So, here, here's a little clip to just show you how bad she is. Her existence was first confirmed several months ago by our own forces. We know practically nothing about her background. Our soldiers have a nickname for her, though. The Devil of the Rye. Believers, have faith in the Lord's blessings, for he will not abandon us in battle. God, give me the power to destroy the enemies of our fatherland. Show them your wrath. Second Lieutenant Tanya Degulishov. No matter how many enemy shells or bullets cloud the air, she flies high and without fear, like a fairy of the battlefield. In this cruel world molded by war, she's the only mage you can truly count on. Lord, smite these faithless invaders. Give me the ability to keep protecting the great fatherland. At the end of our hard-fought battles, paradise awaits, and one day we will reach the promised land. She is a complete and utter monster in the form of a little girl. So if you want some evil in your life, check this thing out, because this girl is badass. All right, up next, from, uh, from evil to uh, something that uh, kind of tugs at your heartstrings. Uh, last year we had a movie that uh, broke every record known in the anime space in theaters, a uh, sweet little film called Your Name. Um, if you've not seen this film or you're not familiar with this film, I would run out of this room, go down to the booth, buy a copy, take it home, get a box of tissues, and just cry your eyes out all night. Uh, this movie is... Beautifully drawn, it's amazing. The storyline is incredible. So um, here's the clip from this, and hopefully there won't be a dry eye in the house by the time we're done. The day a star fell, it was almost like... Like seeing something out of a dream. Nothing more or less than a breathtaking view. Hello, you've opened your eyes. But why won't you even look Let's me hit the cafe the later. Thanks, you. but I gotta go to work. You and me. I can't stand this place late. anymore. It's too small and close knit. Please leave me a talk about why my next life! I've been having some strange dreams lately. Like a dream about someone else's life. What is this? <gasps> oh, what? Could this? Could this mean? In our dreams, that girl and I were switching places. But can you dance, dance, dance until the day we're looking everywhere for you? There's one thing I'm certain of. If we see each other, we'll definitely know right away. I wanted to tell you that wherever you are in the world, I swear that I'll find you again, no matter what. Who are you? Who are you? Can I ask you? 
What a sweet film. So from sweet to weird. Does everybody like weird stuff? Has yeah. so everybody watched something and thought, what the hell did I just watch and why did I waste my time watching it? But I really liked it, but I don't know why I liked it. And then you're watching it and you're going, didn't I just watch this already, but I'm watching it again? So we got this crazy little show called Pop Team Epic. So if you haven't seen the show, I'm, I'm just going to leave you with that. It is real weird. You're going to watch it, and you're going to watch it backwards, and you're going to watch it forward, and you're going to go, what did I just watch? I don't know, and I don't know if I liked it, but I did like it. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but here you go. Finally awake, huh? Pop Team Epic! Pop Team Epic! so cute! You love it, right? You don't know what you just watched, but you love it. You gotta love it. So, uh, okay, so kind of along this little journey we're all taking together from uh, tugging up the heartstrings to getting weird to uh, let's go to uh, some nostalgia. Uh, how many Bebop fans in the house? Yeah, all right. We were working on this license for a long time because we had the license to the series, we just did not have the license to the movie. So now, the uh, Cowboy Bebop the movie is available. It comes in a really cool steel book, and uh, it is out for purchase. And here's the trailer. I wonder what you'd call this kind of relationship. It's not like we have any camaraderie. There's really a bond here at all. Everyone just does what they want to do. They come back whenever they feel like it. And then they take off again. You know what the world is like? It's like a boiling pot with a soggy stew inside. Stew mix is on our five. We have to I'm not for the stew mix! Great wannabe preacher with a gun. Hey, Spike, there's three of them. I'll go around the back. Put my donut on their tab, would you? Spy! Cowboy scumbag! Wait a minute! CBC's Chris Riley is lying off. It's the same story on every channel. The government of Mars has posted a reward of 300 million oolongs. 300 million? Yeah. They're treating it as a terrorist attack, but as of now, they don't have a suspect. It'll take them a while, but they'll figure it out eventually. Do you believe in the devil? Well, I saw him. I got a very clear view. <laughs> I know exactly what he looks like. You can draw on the screen, just like a profiler. There you go. Yeah. That's really unique, Fred. <laughs> you and I are body hunters scratching around for a few bucks. That's all. This thing is much bigger than that. Something that should not exist can't exist. Too big. What? Uh, sorry, I've got no time to play around with you guys. The more that you know, the shorter your life will be. Come on, Vincent. I did everything you said. Did you say your prayers? I am going to kill this old lady if you don't put down your guns! Oh, that's a real shame. I know you didn't mean that, Spike. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? You. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Spike, time to go. All right, knock it on heaven's door. <laughs> 
All right, another, another, uh, <laughs> another, another series that got, just came out with a sequel that we released, uh, I guess it was back in February, was uh, Overlord 2. So this, this is available uh, in a really cool limited edition box set as well. And uh, here's a clip. There is a power in motion to corrupt the world once again. It is evil, plain and simple. Great ones! I am held to the Great One, sent to deliver a message! Henceforth, death's gaze is upon you! fans in the house? We just, uh, here we go, here we go. Let's see this computer. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, so uh, we also just released the uh, TV special, the 3D2Y special that came out uh, in Japan. And uh, here's a clip from that TV special. Destroyer of the world. The world has a reputation for taking out anything that crosses his path. It didn't matter who you were. You are improving, but you have a long way to go before you master hockey. I have no business with the rest of you. Are you going to rescue your sisters? Of course. I'll go with them. If you leave right now, you might <laughs> never see your friends again. Thank you for coming all this way, Empress. Awesome. So far, your sisters are enjoying their stay. Run away! Just leave us! Sonia, Mary, we'll get you out of there! You've become quite the best. Why can't you just mind your own damn business, you pathetic little brat? Follow my lead, man. We're gonna attack! You think you can kidnap my friend? It's not gonna happen! There's nothing wrong with abandoning the useless. After all, you left your brother to die a Marine Corps. I couldn't save Ace's life, but I'm not dead yet. And I still have my crew! Friends who are waiting for me, who believe in me! Enough already! The power is useless! If you can't even hit me! I can't wait to see how everyone else has changed after two years. I bet they'll all be super strong. All right, so those, that's a kind of a, from the beginning of the year up until now, uh, what's, what we've released and some of the highlights. So let's talk about uh, stuff that's come out this month and stuff that's coming out this month, and then we'll get into the stuff that's coming out later on uh, in this quarter. All right, so uh, from, from one One Piece to another One Piece, uh, the episode of Sabo will be out later on this month, uh, as well as the Legend of Galactic Heroes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Desiree, the complete series. And a really cool limited edition that we just released um, is the Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. It comes with a really cool uh, acrylic standee and it's got an art book and it's in a really awesome box. And so uh, the, what we've do, been doing lately is releasing um, the limited stuff. Are there any collectors in here? Do people buy it? Like, is there anyone in this room that actually goes for the, the LEs over the standards or buys DVDs at all for that matter? <laughs> 
There's a few, okay. It depends. Some comic shows are different than anime shows, so I mean, you never know what, what, we're, what kind of crowd we've got. So anyway, um, for those of you who are into that stuff, we've kind of upped the game on these collector's editions lately, and we've also been working with our licensing partners to get more exclusive content. So more key art, more art pieces, more kind of behind the scenes stuff that you don't really get to see um, in just a standard edition or that you get, don't get to see at all if you're just streaming online or whatnot. So to, to take it home and own it, it's kind of one of those things where you've got that thing in your hand, you're flipping to the book, and you're like, oh, wow, that's cool, and sketches and whatnot. So this is a really, really nice piece. Um, also out later this year, this month, sorry, uh, Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory. Um, to kind of coincide with the movie release, we've got the Code Geass Steelbook, the trilogy movies that are out. And I just saw the, um, those just came in, and we've got them downstairs as well. So that's, that's a really cool piece to check out. Uh, another awesome show, Darling in the Franks. And for those of you who haven't seen that one, I'm going to show you a clip of that one right now. We did a really cool limited edition in that one as well that's kind of got this, like, clear sleeve, and it's got a really good art book. And so, like I said, we're kind of stepping the game up on those, those collector's editions for those collectors out there. Your taste makes my heart race. Demon taste of danger. She's a demon. Let me give you some advice. Stay far away from this one, all right? She's not the kind of pistol that just anyone can handle. I've heard rumors about her, like how she's never had a partner who's been able to ride with her more than three times. Do you know why that is? Because they don't make it out alive. Alive. I'm all too aware. A flightless bird, a flightless bird has nowhere to go. Come to me, darling. I'm not about to let you do this on your own. I'll pilot that robot with you. And are you prepared to die? If I don't pilot, I'm as good as dead anyway. Right now, I don't belong anywhere. So please, take me with you! You vacate that branch right now! I can't. I'm going out with my darling. When the male and female factors combine and their hearts become one... Well, are you ready? The Iron Maiden will reveal her true form. I'll take it a taste of you. After all... You are now my darling. And there's that uh, that screenshot of all the cool stuff inside that box. So, so back to theatrical movies. Um, last year we also released a uh, a little movie called Two Heroes, uh, My Hero Academia movie. Thanks to you guys, we did great at the box office, broke a bunch of records, and uh, this movie will be coming out next Tuesday, actually. If you want to go downstairs to booth 417, we have a photo op down there. Um, today's Deku Day, yesterday was All Might, so um, tomorrow will be a surprise, uh, but each day we have a different character, and actually we'll probably have all three of them out there tomorrow. So you can take your photo with them, upload it to Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, whatnot, and get a free My Hero Academia headband. So for those of you who have not seen the film, or for those of you who have, here is a trailer from My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Also, uh, one other thing, if you do want to own this uh, and take it home, buy it in the shop at Funimation.com. You get a acrylic uh, Deku button. So that's the gift with purchase for that one. There's still hope for the future of one for all, and the symbol of peace. A new generation will rise to take my place. Go fight those villains! I'm in. Let's do this, guys! I cannot wait to hear how it turns out. So excited. To overcome the crisis in front of you! By giving everything you've got! And save people! No matter the cost! Plus Ultra! All right, My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Tuesday, available. All right, moving on to next month then. Let's talk about some uh, April releases. Um, I'm going to butcher this name. So uh, it is Haiku Hoshin Engi, and that's coming out the beginning of April, as well as High School DxD Hero. Any DxD fans in the house? Yeah, the girls are back. Um, Ancient Mangus Bride Part 2. And back to those theatrical releases we talked about. The biggest blockbuster of the year for us, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Yeah. So this one will be available April 16th in stores. And if you purchase through Funimation.com, you get a Dragon Ball Super Broly acrylic stand. He's probably six, seven inches tall. So that's a Goku um, standee. Also out in April, Black Clover Part 4. Yeah. 
with a uh, shop exclusive through fun Funimation.com is the Black Clover uh, keychain and uh, Dances with Dragons. And uh, here's a clip from Dances with Dragons. I want you to meet my good friend and servant. Pick this one just for you. <laughs> this, this is, is bad excellent. news. Uh, let us now share in the banquet of battle! Sparks fly as the blades of two separate lives meet in combat. And for a single moment, the world and I share the same pulse. Did I mention I hate you? And I hate you just as much, if not more, so we should get along fine. All right, so that will be available on April the 2nd. And uh, continuing on with the uh, Dragon Ball Super series, Dragon Ball Super Part 7 comes out in April as well. And uh, let's see, what else we got? April, Space Battleship Tiramisu Season 1, Basilisk, the Oka Ninja Scrolls Part 1, and Golden Kamui Season 1. Another shop exclusive we have is the really cool 1.2 um, inch, uh, inch gold coin that'll be available with, as a gift of purchase on that one as well. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with this show, here's a, a trailer for this one. They say you clawed your way up from the pits of hell. Find me a mile, 30 miles! I got an interesting story too. 20 con in solid gold. He tattooed the flesh of cellmates with a code that revealed the location of the treasure. Move away. That girl. He's an I know. Hey, let's find this gold together. It belongs to your people. Find it how exactly? I'll be the one getting my hands to crafty bastard stole his guts! All I need is your knowledge. Our destinations are different, but our path is the same. If the two of us team up, we'll be unstoppable. So there's all that fun stuff, the book, the cards, the coin. So check that one out, Funimation.com shop. All right, moving on to May releases. Um, back to My Hero Academia, season three, part one. The uh, limited edition, the, we've been releasing these in limited edition sets as well. They've come with books and various other tchotchkes inside. So this one will come with an art book and a standee and a keychain and uh, holographic cards as well. So here's a uh, trailer from season three, part one. Why the heck are there villains attacking this place? Now, it begins. When you think you can't go on anymore, look inside. I'll have you return my students all for one. To be, and that's what I'll train for! Frozen citizens everywhere are praying for your victory! I need you! I must remember, you're still everyone's number one hero! All right, My Hero Season 3, Part 1, on May 7th. Uh, also in May, Kakuryo Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Katana Maidens Part 2 will be out and Chiho's School Road. And now this is, this is something I, I just got right before I got in the panel room. I couldn't get it to download on the computer, but I have it on my phone. So I'm gonna show you this as a debut. So we're gonna do a little technical switch here and the, you guys will be the first ones seeing this. It's making its debut here at C2E2. So let's hope this all works. So talk amongst yourselves. This is the, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the clip for Tokyo Ghoul Re Part 1. So we got video, no audio. All right, we're going to have to do it this way, I guess, right? Okay. All right, here we go. This is super ghetto, but we're going for it. Ready? Eureka, I say. Look at me. You know that you turn your back on a friend. Do it. 
there's definitely like a mystery in it, how it pulls like blending in with the humans. You don't know who is who, and that's like the part that is like really interesting. I've heard about you. You're called the Queenses, right? And you use cockatoos? Queens are humans who have been given the powers of queens. We use your kind's abilities. Who might you be? Let me guess. King of the imitations? You're as weak as them. I should warn you, you're much better off not knowing anything about me. More like ghouls than humans. I doubt they have any humanity left in them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't need you! All right, folks, there you go. You saw it first here at C2. Don't say we never gave you anything. Yeah. All right, back to it. Okay, Jindita Collection. <laughs> Darling in the Franks Part 2 will be out in May as well. And then moving on to our summer releases uh, out into June. Uh, for the first time ever, all in one lovely bundle, because you've all asked for it for so long, Helsing Ultimate. <laughs> Hina Matsuri. <laughs> Love Tyrant. Another One Piece special, The Adventures in Nebulando. And let's see here, what else we got? Hold on, we're stuck again, sorry. I know. Okay, Master of Rancock, bless her, and Overlord 3. So all that stuff will be available later on this summer, so we are about done here, so I want to thank you all for coming out. Feel free to stop by the booth, take those pictures of the My, My Hero Academia photo op, and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.